In this video, I will show you how to prepare lentil stew. Lentil stew is a very simple dish which can stand on its own as a, as a meal. Lentil stew is prepared by taking lentils and simmering them for two hours with tomatoes, onions, and various spices. The lentils will be taken out of the plastic package and will be gone through very carefully. When the lentils are picked, sometimes you get little stones in here. They have to be removed. Uh, it's a manual process, but worth the effort. The lentils will be soaked in water overnight, and then um, the next day they will be simmered for two hours in tomatoes, tomato paste, onions, um, salt, bay leaves, and garlic. This is a very simple dish. It is beyond simple because all you have to do once you soak the lentils, uh, you basically let it simmer with tomatoes and onions, etc., for a couple of hours under a medium heat, and you're done. Lentil stew will refrigerate well and will last quite some time. So, uh, first things first, we have to take the lentils out of the package and then we have to um, go through them manually to see if there's any bits of stone, etc. that get into the packaging, unfortunately. Actually, I will read to you what it says here on this bag. Uh, basically, it says, helpful hint. Um, beans are harvested in their natural state, even with the most careful attention and best processing equipment available. We suggest you look over the contents closely to pick out any foreign substances such as small stones, soil particles, etc. As a helpful hint, rinse the beans with drinkable water to provide a wholesome dish. Uh, so basically it's just, you know, I mean these are picked in the field, etc. However, however they're picked, but uh, on occasion you'll see a little stone or perhaps even a uh, malformed lentil bean uh, that you'll simply remove. You don't, there's no way to actually cook those, so obviously that they have to be removed. But after that happens, the lentils will be put in a pot with water uh, left in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, they're going to basically soak overnight and then they'll be ready to uh, simmer for a couple of hours under medium heat with tomatoes, onions, etc. So I'll get to work and be right back. Here's a look at the uh, lentils. Here's a close look at them. And here's a, here's a look at what I've been pulling out. Uh, I don't think any of these are pebbles or dirt. I think they're basically just simply malformed, malformed lentils. Uh, they're discolored. They're wrinkled up, some of them, etc. Uh, you pull those out. You don't waste your time with those. It's also safer. Um, but this is the way the lentils actually look as a close-up here. So. Okay, the uh, lentils have been taken out of the plastic package. And I've gone through them manually to make sure that um, there aren't any rocks or um, plant material that shouldn't be in here. I've also removed the um, lentils that were deformed, and this is the result of the um, of the manual separation. All these pieces right here are basically either ch lentil chips or deformed lentils. Uh, my guess is they probably could have been left in uh, with, I mean, and they probably would have cooked okay. However, they're basically removed. Here's the uh, surprising thing, and this is why you should always go through your lentils by hand very carefully. These four objects here, okay, these two things here are rocks. They, they actually they actually look like they're bits of coal. That's what they look like. They're, these are rocks that were in the lentil package. And these two pieces are here, right, right here are some kind of dried vegetable matter that um, was not going to soften. I mean, basically you would not want to chew down on this or this. But these here are, are two little rocks or pebbles. And that's what I pulled out of the um, lentil package. So yes, you have to go through the lentils manually to pull out the rocks, pull out any uh, like wood or whatever this is, dried up plant material. And then of course you just get rid of all the um, shriveled up and malformed lentils. They probably wouldn't cook anyway. I wonder if this, is, this looks like a rock. I know it's a malformed lentil. Anyway, but uh, you go through the package, pull the rocks out, pull any weird vegetable matter, uh, bark or wood or whatever this junk is, pull out the malformed. There's not much. There's not much. I mean, this is not even, um, 
I'd be surprised if this were a gram of lentils. But basically the package is a 16 ounce package of lentils. This cost a buck and a half. And for the amount of food that this is going to make, uh, this is dirt cheap. So anyway, I'm going to, um, I'm going to fill this with water and uh, cover it, put it in the uh, fridge and let it soak overnight. And uh, tomorrow morning I will uh, put the remaining ingredients in. The onion, tomato, garlic, bay leaves, uh, salt, olive oil. Uh, I have to go through the menu and see, or the recipe and see if I have left anything out. Uh, but then simmer it over a um, medium heat for two hours and then it's done. Uh, so I will return. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, but I forgot to uh, mention that uh, prior to letting the lentils soak overnight, uh, put water in the pot that has the lentils in it and uh, swirl it around to sort of rinse the lentils out. Change the water a few times. You, uh, so you basically you have to, do, you have to uh, rinse the uh, lentils a bit, two or three times, let's say, before you um, leave it in overnight to soak. So I just uh, forgot about that. I wanted to mention it. It's been about eight hours since the lentil beans have been soaking. Um, I did not put this in the fridge. Uh, I recommend you do. You don't have to, but um, I basically left that on the stove overnight for about eight hours. I'm going to pull open the lid. And as you can see, at least I hope you can see, the lentil beans have absorbed literally almost all the water that I put in. I think I luckily, luckily put in just enough water um, so that the lentil beans have absorbed it all overnight. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pour this water out, uh, fill the pot up with water, and then I'm going to add the following ingredients. I'm going to put in one chopped onion. I'm going to put in uh, six cloves of garlic, six to eight cloves, um, three bay leaves. I'm going to put in one ladle's worth of uh, tomato sauce, whichever you prefer, Prego or whatever brand. I, I bought uh, uh, something that was on sale. And this is a ladle. So basically about, uh, uh, how many ladles? I think about at least one ladle, uh, no more than two. And then I'm going to pour in uh, half of this can. It's a um, 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes that I bought from the dollar store. So this was one dollar from the dollar store. And I'm going to put in half the can. Uh, and also salt and olive oil, uh, two ladles worth of olive oil. And that's it. And that literally is it. I'm going to basically put in all these ingredients into this uh, pot of lentils. Uh, again, I'm going to change the water out one more, one more time, fill this up with water, put in the onion, put in the uh, garlic cloves, put in the bay leaves, put in uh, a ladle of tomato sauce, put in half a can of these uh, whole peeled tomatoes, and of course salt. Salt's going to be the trickiest uh, because it'll have to be a taste, but uh, I wouldn't put in more than um, I'd say maybe a teaspoon's worth of, uh, at most, uh, but you'll figure this out. You can also taste this as it goes along. And then this, all this will all simmer for, on a medium heat for two hours, and then you're done. I mean, literally, that's all this takes. It's, it's, it's that easy to make lentil stew. So uh, with no further ado, I'm going to basically do what i got to do, uh, and you will see this uh, at the end. Stay tuned. Everything's been put into the pot, and now it's simply a matter of waiting to out let it simmer for two hours on a medium heat. Progress report. This is about 20 minutes in. Um, it's been simmering. I lowered the heat a little bit. Uh, we're still at about it's a like low medium. Um, stirring it on occasion. 
but uh, it's simmering away. It's been about 40 minutes. Um, this has been simmering under a low, uh, low medium heat. Um, the water is uh, pretty much gone, so I'm going to add some more water. Uh, you don't want this to get to the point where it um, it uh, ends up burning and sticking to the bottom of the pan. So I guess on occasion you have to stir and uh, make sure that this doesn't completely um, dry out before uh, it's time to finish. Uh, this should be stirred on occasion. Actually, I'm thinking I should have used a larger pot. Um, but uh, you have to watch this and stir every 10 minutes or so. Make sure that the uh, bottom doesn't stick, that there's still enough water, etc.